let freedom ring, and if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. Freedom is not a cry uttered only once. It's an ongoing anthem passed down from generation to generation. Freedom is the bell, and we must be its echo. This is why we march. This is why we protest. This is why we gather and assemble and sit in and teach in and die in. We are embodying the echo of freedom, reminding ourselves and every generation to come that we are not alone. This cry for freedom will find resonance on lunch counters and in freedom schools, at our dinner tables and in our living rooms, from our pulpits and in our Golden Globes acceptance speeches. Gil Scott Heron was right. The revolution won't be televised. It will be embodied, enacted, experienced, an echo from the past, heard in the present, and felt in the future. Let freedom reign.